early in my junior year, my dad gave me a clipping about Caltech. He said, I want you to apply there. I want to make sure there's at least one school where you don't get in. I said, okay, thanks dad, I'll do it. I don't know how or why, but Caltech did let me in. Hi, I'm Julie Cornfield. I always go by Julie, but you'll see my legal name is Julia, Julia Ann Cornfield. And uh, I'm a professor of chemical engineering here at Caltech. When I arrived on campus, it was a bit strange. It was 1979 and there were so few women. There were always like hydration spheres of men around each woman's student. So I, I, I had never sung before, but I joined the Glee Club. It was a really lovely opportunity to just be surrounded by women for a few hours every week. And the same thing with women's soccer, you know. But the experience of being at Caltech was really special. One of the things I remember, I was in a recitation section for physics, and it's being run by Max Delbruck, who's a Nobel laureate and one of the creators of biophysics. He was so intimidating, really. He'd ask you a question and you'd pick up your notes to go to the board, put your notes down, you know? But he was also really, really sweet and very devoted. So that year he was dying. And what did he choose to do in his final year? Be a freshman TA. So one day I'm walking up the steps and I said, Professor Delbuck, how are you feeling today? And he said, oh, I had a transfusion yesterday. I feel like a tiger. <laughs> Here's this person, he's dying. He wants to interact with freshmen. <laughs> and after a transfusion, he feels like a tiger. You know, I mean, you can't match that. You can't match it any which way at all. It's just amazing people and just being able to be with them. You know, it's a, a really inspiring experience. So as an undergrad, I loved statistical thermodynamics much more than, you know, conventional thermodynamics. I just so enjoyed thinking about these molecules, each one as like a statistical mechanical experiment, each one, you know, and they're everywhere, right? So you look at your carpet, you look at what you're wearing, you look at what you're made of, you know, it's all polymers, right? And uh, thinking about how they move and how we can use the way they move to achieve new things, it just keeps becoming new again. Each wave of discoveries opens up a vista of what we don't know. And it's a very active process between the people and the problems always being renewed. It's really exciting. I have a, a grad student, Priya Chatur, who taught me the, about the existence of bacterial films that look like opals. And then she said, and Jared Ledbetter here at Caltech knows about it. I'm like, well, let's get together with Jared Ledbetter, you know? And so we start learning about these biofilms and he told us where to go on the ocean to, to take samples. And so Priya's growing up living opals. It's just the things that the students create and the students teach you. That is absolutely my favorite thing. Feeling like I get to be here for this. You know, that's so great. Usually we don't really appreciate what a miracle it is to have the fall of each academic year. You know, that's definitely a silver lining from the pandemic is, you know, once in your lifetime to really feel like how lucky we are just to be able to be together and study together, yeah.